All right, let's take a look at some uh, stuff about line symmetry. Uh, none of this is really challenging. It's stuff you've probably seen before, um, but it is something we got to go over. So let's take a quick peek. Um, line of symmetry is, I guess, what we're going to start with. Um, and a line of symmetry is a. Oops, let's try that again. A line that exactly divides a 2D shape in half so that both halves are mirror images. All right, so if we've got, you know, we can divide, for example, a rectangle in half um, diagonally. Right, if I was to... Um, Insert a rectangle here, real quick. Maybe really quickly. So then my computer decides it wants to cooperate. There we go. All right. So now, if I cut this in half down the middle here, right? You can imagine folding it so that this end matches up with this end, and they do mirror images. I could also divide it down the middle here, so that th I could fold this top over to the bottom, and the top and bottom would be mirror images. Now, I can divide it in exactly half this way, assuming I fold from corner to corner. They will not, this corner will not line up with this corner, so even though it's exactly in half, the halves are not mirror images, which means that a rectangle has one, two <laughs> lines of symmetry, um, but it does not have three. All right, so that takes us on to the next little bit here. Um, what are the three possible directions for a line of symmetry? Draw an example of each. So I can draw, I'm going to do a quick square, well, let's go with the rectangle first, squarish thing for the first one. My first example here could be vertical. Okay, so I could have a vertical line of symmetry, that, lines, that one runs up and down. I could have Okay, so that's the first one is a vertical one. Second one I could have, plunk it in there. Got this arrow here, which just went away. All right. All right, assuming I've drawn that all perfectly, I could go from here all the way back to here fold the top over the bottom fold the top up to the top top up to the top and I have a horizontal line of symmetry <clears throat> all right and finally um, the other kind of a line of symmetry that I can have is assuming we have, again, a perfect square. Remember I said in the first one here that a rectangle, if I go corner to corner, they don't match up. If I do a perfect square, I can make this diagonal line of symmetry, which we don't call diagonal because that would be too easy. Um, let's call it something more confusing than that. If we go at a diagonal or some kind of an angle, we call this an oblique line of symmetry. Okay, so again, my three possible directions for a line of symmetry would be horizontal, vertical, which I drew at the beginning, and oblique. All right. Moving us on, how many lines of symmetry can an object have? Well, it can have anywhere from zero 
up to infinity. That is not a great infinity symbol. Try again. It's a bit better. Okay, zero to infinity. Right, some blobby kinds of shapes are going to have zero lines of symmetry. There's no way to fold that in half so that you have two mirror images. Others like circles, there's a million different ways or more that you can fold a circle in half and have two mirror images. Right? You can you know, fold it in half one way or the other way or move it just a little bit around. All right? um, and this takes us on then to this idea of line symmetry. And this is, at this point in your life, this is the only kind of symmetry you've probably heard of. But line symmetry is oops, having the pro ooh, try that again. property of having at least one line of symmetry. This becomes more important when we start talking um, tomorrow or maybe next week about rotational symmetry. Um, because there are certain things that have rotational symmetry that do not have line symmetry. Um, and so there's different types of symmetry in the world. And we get to learn about two of them in grade nine. There's more than two. Um, but uh, you've got these two to learn about. One of them is line symmetry. It just means that something has a line of symmetry. If something has a line of symmetry, it has this property which we call, oh, that thing has line symmetry because it has a line of symmetry. English is a wonderful language. All right, now this gives you, oh, no, never mind. List and explain three ways you can find lines of symmetry for a 2D shape. Well, the first way um, is use a mirror. All right, so mirror is one of those purpley pinky things that you've used before to find symmetry, um, that's going to be the first way to find a line of symmetry, for a 2D shape anyways. Um, when the reflection lines up with the actual drawing when you look at the mirror, um, that tells you you have found a place where there is a line of symmetry. Okay. Um, use folding. Okay, You can fold something to physically find out if it has a line of symmetry. Um, and finally, you can use, and I'm going to call, call it using measurements, um, but here is where you're just looking at it and essentially you're measuring it with your eyes, um, or you can use a ruler to make sure that two things, you know, that it is the same size. Um, and it's also measurement as well as the, the properties of objects. All right, and that's what we're going to look at on the next page at the bottom here once it shows the assignment bit. All right, um, how can you be sure you have identified all the possible lines of symmetry for an object? That's the tricky one. Um, some it's really easy, Oops. Um, and, but the other is going to be look at the number of, ooh, settle down, number of angles in the object. All right, you will not have more lines of symmetry than angles. All right, so let's take a look at that actually on the next page. Oops, there we go. All right, so this will be the assignment, but I've got one page I've kind of tacked on to here. So a triangle. <clears throat> there it is, it's beautiful, it has three angles. Guess what, it has three lines of symmetry. Okay, I'm going to actually plunk this in, I'm going to insert some lines here rather than use an insert a shape thing. Okay, we're going to have one line of symmetry, goes through the center to that vertex. One line of symmetry, from this vertex through the center. And finally, one line of symmetry from this vertex through the center. Okay, now the other way to think about this, and you can, so you can fold this triangle 
um, in half this corner matching up to this corner, this corner matching up to this corner, or this corner matching up to this corner. Um, each of these is a separate line of symmetry. The other thing to think about is, oh, if I start halfway along a side and go to the opposite, in this case, corner, that's another way to do this. If, in this case, it has an odd number of angles, that way works as well. Let's look at the next one where we have an even number of angles, which somehow we've, I've messed something up here. Give me a moment. Let's move. was working nicely until a moment ago. This square, which is turned on its side, looking like a uh, <clears throat> diamond. Let's think about it this way. We can go this corner to this corner. We can go this corner to this corner. We can go middle of this side to middle of this side. And we can go middle of this side to middle of this side. How many angles do we have? We have four. How many lines of symmetry do we have? We have four. Here we had three and three. Hmm, I wonder if there's a pattern. Well, let's find out. All right. Let's look at our pentagon here. It has five angles. How many lines of symmetry does this guy have? You might be guessing five. So look, we can go from the that vertex through the center across to the middle of this side. That's one. Oh, come back here. From this corner through the middle over to this side. That's two. This corner through the middle over. Move. Over this side. That's three. Obviously, I'm not quite hitting the middle on all of these. This corner through the middle over to here. And finally, this corner through the middle over to here. Guess what? I have five angles. And I can count them. One, two, three, four, five lines of symmetry. All right, this one's got six angles. Drawing the lines of symmetry, there's six of them. Okay, this one here with six and six, there's a pattern obviously. Um, you're gonna go corner to corner, corner to corner, corner to corner, and then we're going to bisect this side to the bisection of this side. So middle to middle. On the opposites, middle to middle. And middle to middle. Okay, this one here, we count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven angles. Seven lines of symmetry. All right, so here it's going to be just like the other odd-numbered ones. From the angle to the middle angle to the middle and so on we'll do that for each of the angles seven lines of symmetry okay this one here one two three four five six seven eight eight angles you should be able to guess yes eight lines of symmetry draw them in again it's going to be all four angle to angle across from each other and then midpoint to midpoint across from each other which takes us on to this lovely circle at the end how many angles does a circle have? Well, it really has an infinite number of angles. How many lines of symmetry does it have? It has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. So for regular polygons, the number of symmetry, lines of symmetry is the same as the number of angles. And I'm going to get you to finish this sentence. The, oh, E turned out lovely.
and I will get you to fill in this sentence here to determine where the lines of symmetry are. What do you do? I would say give two cases, one where there is an even number of angles, one where there is an odd number of angles. Go. Have fun.